In this video, I'm going to show you how to create 3D objects in DaVinci Resolve. And this is going to be very simple. Now, this is the scene that we're going to create in this video. And the main focus for this video is going to be how you can add simple but very good looking 3D objects right here in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. Now, right here, as you can see, this is the output. This is the timeline that we have right here. And I'm just going to quickly create a background for this. So and also we're also using the textures so these are the two textures that i'm using this one right here this is going to be for the frame of that clock and this one is going to be actually the the front image for the clock but you're free to use any different image that you want any different images that you want but you will be able to find these from the link in the description so of course go ahead create your timeline and let's go ahead drag in our fusion composition and we can just go with the default settings so right here, I already have this background. I'm just going to copy the color code right here. So this is the color code for this. And let's head over to this one. And over here, just drag in this background. And while the background is selected, press control space and search for vignette. So right here, add this in and then connect this with the media out. Now over here in the background, we can just go ahead, paste our color code. So you can, of course, use this, copy this color code, use this one. And this is the look that we will have, but let's go ahead and change the size for the vignette. So let's go with 0.7 or something. Now let's go ahead and drag in another fusion composition. Head over to this one. Actually, this is going to be for the background, but first of all, actually this is going to be for the text. But first of all, let's go ahead and create this shape that you see right here, this object that you see right here. So let's do that. This is going to be right here. Let's head over to this composition and let's go ahead, drag in our shape. And for this, let's go ahead, drag in this Merge 3D. You can just click on Merge 3D and press Control Space and search for Render 3D. Connect this with the media out. Now you can also click on this Merge 3D and then click one on the keyboard and you will get this panel right here, this preview right here. Now let's go over to the Shape 3D and change the shape to Cylinder. And let's go over to the Transform and from here we can just change the scale to let's say 0 0.3. And now let's go back to the controls and from here we can reduce the radius we can reduce the height and let's go with something like 0.08 and the radius at 0.55 now you can zoom this in and you will be able to see that we have something like a ring but we need to fill it because we need to show a clock right so we need to fill this and for that you can just click on the caps right here bottom and top and you will also notice one more thing that this is not that smooth this is not that smooth and if you press shift on your keyboard and use your mouse scroll wheel you will be able to rotate this in this way so right here you will notice the rough edges on just go over to the base subdivisions and just increase it so this will just get smoothed out that's it you can go with 30 you can go with 40 that's up to you i think 40 works for me so now let's go ahead and click on the bottom and top cap so that this is covered from the bottom and the top as well now we need to go ahead and Press control space while this shape is selected. So press control space and search for replace material and make sure this is connected. And now we're going to add our first material, which is going to be this one. So let's go ahead and connect this with the replace material. And that's it. Now you can see our shape is covered with this material right here. So this will work as the background for the clock. And now we're going to add in another shape or what you can do is you can just simply copy this shape 3D press control C to copy and then unselect and then control V to paste. And let's go ahead, connect this with the merge. And while you have this selected, what you can do is, first of all, let's just bring this right here so that we can see and go over to the transform. And from here, you can just click on this Y and move this up something like this and go ahead and change the scale to, or you can go over to the controls and from here you can change the radius. So let's just change this to 0.5. So this is this this is going to work well, and you can you can see we have a shape same cylinder on top of another one. So we're going to do a very simple technique. Just go ahead and add in this replace material once again. So that's it. Just add in this replace material, and now drag in this clock, and connect this with the replace material, and that's it. Here you go. You have the clock ready. That's it. But you will notice one thing. This is not looking very good. If we zoom this in you will see that, okay, this is not looking very good. What you can do is 
go back to the shape and from here you can go over to the transform once again and just move this down that's it that's how simple it is and of course you can increase the radius for this as well so let's just increase this slightly but a better way would be to just change the scale to let's say 0.28 now go ahead and reduce the height as well to let's say 0.05 and you can just move this up now something like this so right now as you can see this is the shape that it's kind of we don't need this we don't need a lot of depth for this so we can just reduce it by changing the height altogether so you can even go with 0.01 just add like a a little bit a little bit depth to it a little bit height to it now let's go over to the transform and from here we can just align it and you can also right click on the perspective and click on this left and zoom this in so now you will be able to move this much better and now let's get back to perspective and that's it so here you can see we have the clock ready so this is how easy it was to create a simple shape like a clock and go over to the merge now and from here you can just go over to the transform and rotate the x so that this is looking like this and of course you can change the y as well something like this something like this so here we have the shape ready now we can go over to zero and from here we can create a keyframe at z go all the way to the end and let's change this to minus 360 so the reason i'm using minus is because it's going to rotate in this direction but if you don't want this if you want the opposite direction you can just remove the minus and that's it it's going to move in the rotate in the opposite direction but i'm going to go with the minus one so that's it so we have the basic animation done for this but right here we're going to add a movement so let's say at 50 to 60 we're going to change the y so create a keyframe right here at 50 go over to 60 and you can just slightly move this right here and do the same thing for the x let's also do the same thing for the x so let's create a keyframe and then right here we can move this something like this so if you play this now here you will see this is how it looks let me just zoom this in so you can get a better view so you can see a nice looking animation for our 3d object of course you can do more with this but this is the basic animation that i'm going with so now we can go back to the timeline and over here you will see this is how the animation looks now we're going to just add in some text and some more effects by using an adjustment layer as you can see right here so the main thing is done the main thing that i wanted to show you in this video is done we have our object now we, we can just add in some text to make it look more appealing so for this i'm going to add in a fusion composition right click head over to the fusion page and from here i can just drag in this background change the alpha to zero let's add in a text connect this with the background and the background with the the merge with the we will get a merge node and then connect that with the media out now in the text we can just type in time and the font that I'm going with is Futura. Let me just increase the size for this. So I'm going with something like this and go over to the shading. And from here, you can just unselect this and then click on this second one, then enable this and just simply change the color to white thickness. So let's change this to 0 0.01. And now while you have this text selected, press control space and search for grid so use this grid warp and you can go over to selected and from here just decrease the size for the x and the y grid something like this then select these right here and move this up select these right here and then move them down that's it so we'll get this stretched out text and if you go back to the timeline you will see this looks good now the clock is at the front and the text it text is in the background and now let's go over to this one again and from here we're going to just add in some animation so go over to the text go over to this text box right here right click and click on follower go over to modifiers and you can just change the delay to let's say five change the order to completely random and let's go over to shading and from here let's go over to 20 20th frame create a keyframe at opacity go over at zero and change this to zero 
and I'm going to change the playback to quarter because sometimes when you're working with 3D, this will your system will get heavy, so you can just go and change the playback mode to quarter. Okay, so we made a mistake. We didn't. We don't have to do it for this first one, as we already removed it. We need to go over to the second. So make sure you go over to second right here because this is the outline. And from here, we can just set the color to white. Create a keyframe at opacity at one at twenty. Go over to zero and change this to zero. All right. And if you play this now, this is how it will look. So right here at 50, from 50 to 60, we're just going to zoom, make this uh, disappear from the screen by going over to the layout, go over to center Z, create a keyframe right here and then at zero, then at 60, let's just move this out the screen. That's it. So if you go back to the timeline, this is how it will look. And then we can add in another text in its place. So let's go ahead, drag in another text, connect this. You can try to, you can just copy this from here and paste it right here. Paste the settings right here. But this time we're just going to remove this follower node, remove this. And from here, also go ahead and remove this. So that's it. But we're going to add this in from, let's say 50 to 60. So we're going to go over to the text again. And this time I'm going to go over to shading and I'm going to remove this one, go back to the first one, enable it, and we can just type in something else. Something like this, let's remove, reduce the size a little bit, reduce the tracking, increase the line spacing because we need to show this clock right here. So that would be visible. The text would be readable as well. Now let's go back to the text two. right click, click on follower, just like we did before in the modifiers, we're going to do the same thing, five order. We're going to change this to completely random at 60. We're going to add this in at one from 50. And that's it. That's pretty much it. And of course you can change the color as well now. So let's go with red. So something like this. Actually, let's go back to the modifiers because this is going to take time. So we're going to just reduce this to one. That's it. So here we have the text done as well. And of course you can add some more text like I had right here. Like as you can see, this one right here, this is not that hard to do. You can just make this if you want to, but the basic thing is done. The, the, the kind of effect, the kind of style for this video I wanted to show you is just covered by what, I, what I've done right now. So that's it. The final thing we're going to do is right here, you will notice that we have this change, right? The clock also shifts. So what we can do is we can add in this adjustment clip right here, and we can go over to our clock image, clock composition where the clock is, go over to the merge. And from here we are at 50. So we can create a keyframe right here at zoom. Then let's go over at 60 where the keyframe was. Right here at 60, we're going to just zoom this in. So let's just zoom this in at 1.5. Okay, so uh, I made a mistake. We don't need to do it right here. This was selected. We need to select the uh, adjustment clip. So let's go right here again. So at 50, Go right here, select this adjustment clip, click on zoom. And by the way, go right here at the beginning, create a keyframe as well. Then right here, we can just zoom this into, let's say 1.50. And then right here where we had this at 60, we can go right here and change this to 1.2. something like this. And at the end, if you want, you can just bring this back to 1.1 up to you. So this was it for this video. This is how easy it is to create 3D elements. And of course, you cannot do this for very complex elements. You can do this for very simple ones, just like I showed you with the clock. You can do it with a coin. You can do it with any Bitcoin, for example, cryptocurrency and pretty much anything with this circular format that I showed you, you can try it. But of course, 
feel free to go ahead and create something complex. Maybe you will be successful. But anyways, this was it for this video. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.